Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. I got some goodies today from Red Iguana. Let's dive in and see what's in this little box of fun. All right, you guys. So Red Iguana is currently having, um, as of this recording, they're having like an up to 90% off sale. And I made a purchase last week and my stuff just arrived today. What is today? The 24th of October, I believe. And I, I went out to the website and the sale is still going on. And almost all the stuff that I'm about to show you, you guys is still, uh, is still available. So one thing that I saw, well, two things that I saw. Okay, y'all already know I'm a freaking stamping whore. And I'm also a whore for nature, nature type scenes, plates, images. You guys, can we just talk about this gorgeous packaging too. I mean, look at this marbling. This is so stunning. The only thing that I've ever purchased from Red Iguana was my little practice finger and some little extra tips. And, oh crap, you know what? I meant to print out how much I paid for this stuff. I'll try to put it up on the screen. I, I, I do know for a fact that these plates were only $2.95 a piece and they're the big, they're the big boys. They're the big boys that Oh, hang on, I'm stretching that fit into this guy. Yeah, I don't have the measurements right in front of me, but with the purchase of these two plates, I had to break out my brand, a, a brand new plate holder because all the rest of mine are full. Okay, so let's go back to, this one is called Paradise Garden. Y'all know, y'all know how I feel about my leaves, y'all. And they this has like everything, all of the things that I love. Uh, there are even, where did I see them? Oh yeah. Little hummingbirds. I mean, I could, you know, I could take those or leave them. I'm not a big butterfly person either, but I freaking love just little, little viney, little leafy, little leafy type things. Gorgeous. $2 and 95 cents. Like shut up. Yes. Sign me up for that. And then this other one, I only got these two plates. Ouch. And I'll just leave that right here. And this one is a marble plate. You know, I'm pretty sure I have one, two, possibly three plates that have some, some marble images on them, but I don't know. I know I don't have anything with these two, with these two images on there. Who cares? It was $3 for a big ass plate, less than three bucks. So again, this one is marble marble plate. I want to say she had four or five different, there's like an animal, whoops, there's like an animal print one, and I don't know. I don't know. But these two, these two caught my eye, so of course I grabbed those, and then I also grabbed, as if I don't have enough freaking tips, y'all, I went in and got some Ballerina XL tips. I mean, there are 500 pieces in here. And I want to say these were $4 and change, like less than $5 for 500 freaking tips. And I have sort of already had a little snozy, as uh, Aggie would say, at these tips today when they came in. They are, first of all, the C-curve is like, whoa, on those, which is fine. But they're much thicker at the tip. You guys... These little wings and like this area down here where you glue on, that's not the right size, obviously. It is so paper thin and it's pre-etched where you would put your glue or your gel glue or whatever. It is, I'm talking wispy, wispy little babies. Yeah, so there shouldn't be <laughs> hardly any filing that you would have to do to blend in maybe a little on these little wings on the sides, but here at the nail line, I mean, it is almost flush to the nail. It's crazy. It is insane how thin, how thin that is. And I know y'all can't see that. Anyway, Ballerina XL Tips, 500 pieces. And, oh, I don't know. I know I didn't purchase. I know I didn't purchase the little heart glitter. I don't know. It just found its way in there. 
but I grabbed some ballerina tips and these are full cover tips. Again, 500 pieces. These I think were a little bit more expensive than these than the um, than the tips, but they're uh, pre-etched. They are pre-etched. And I'm actually really digging. Why do I keep saying digging in all my freaking videos? What am I? Uh, I'm actually really enjoying this length because it's not humongous over the top, you know. Yeah, they don't even say XL. So they're definitely not XXL. But again, pre-etched. Whoops, I keep bumping that. Pre-etched. Not quite as thin as the Ballerina XL tips, but still minimal filing, most likely, on that. So I was really excited. I hope that's the right. I hope I put that in the right one. So yeah, grab me some tips. I just grabbed a buffer. This is one of those thick sort of buffing blocks. It's 182.40. I don't have any of these, honestly. I have like the the files, you know, the flat, hard files. But this is, you know, a nice big, sturdy, sturdy. I don't know, squishy, softish. Something new to me. I didn't think it was possible really in the stamping game. But I grabbed some stamping and paint gels. Again, these were so inexpensive. I can't tell you how inexpensive um, pretty much all these things were. So I grabbed a black, a white, and a silver. Oh, they're 8 mil. And I'm not going to open these up. Honestly, I don't think I've even seen uh, like a tutorial for how to use this. This type of product's been around for a while. Uh, actually I have because I subbed to Moira, uh, Moira on the old tube of views and they use gels, uh, stamping gels, I think. Well, I know, I know they use stamping gels, but I don't know. I can't remember if they actually come in tubes. I will go ahead and show you, show you this. This says it's stamping and paint gel. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to play around with that. We'll see how it goes. If I hate it, I hate it. I'm not out a ton of money. And I'll just stick to my regular stamping polish, which is fine because She Modern Stamping Polish is chef's kiss. And alcohol inks, you guys. If you missed my alcohol ink design that I recently did, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I will stick a link to that video up in the cards for you. I grabbed three colors because I went out to my alcohol inks order. I think I got those from AliExpress. And I just did like a double check on the colors that I had already purchased. And as I was working on that alcohol inks design that is linked up here, you guys saw, or I'll put a picture up here or whatever. As I was working on that with those alcohol inks, I was kind of thinking to myself, damn, I kind of wish I had colors that were more suitable for fall. I guess I just bought a bunch of like brights. A bunch of bright colors. So yeah, I grabbed Red Iguana from Red Iguana, a brown, and I'm not gonna open these because y'all know what the color brown looks like, and orange, 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 and yellow. These were three colors that I, I did not have an orange and a yellow from AliExpress. I think those were Nicole Diary uh, alcohol inks. Yeah, so I'm excited to add these to my collection, and these are seven mil bottles. There we go, seven mil bottles. The packaging on this stuff, you guys, I'm telling you, it's so like chic and very posh, very posh. And for $1.95 a piece, I mean, come on. Those are like AliExpress prices, y'all. And Red Iguana is posh, posh. Look, look at that, uh, I just love, I love me some good packaging, love it. What else did I grab? some glitter and they uh, have a little sticker here and a little sticker here so that this would not um, you know explode in shipping so this is just a clear hollow glitter and it's 008 size 008 it's just clear hollow it's just clear hollow so that would be good for uh, like sugaring I guess you know sugaring a nail or just sprinkling 
what is this hair? Or just sprinkling some, you know, into a, uh, a base coat. This I grabbed, it is called a Corundum, a Corundum Ball Bit number 11 and it's like it's like a big one i reached back here to grab my my smaller bit to show you guys the, uh, the size difference and when i opened this i see that i already have one i already have one of these whoops sweet jeebus i came in here to grab these two little tiny ones and damn it i already have a great big one Oh well, again, this thing was super, super inexpensive. And hey, apparently now I have two, I have two honking ball bits. Nice, nice going, Tara. Oh uh, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I also grabbed, and forgive me, I don't remember what this is called. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is Greek Goddess Sparkling Gel. Greek goddess sparkling gel. Let me bring y'all in just a smidge. This one is called Calypso, the name of the color is Calypso, and she had a bunch of different colors. Uh, they're metallic, and I know this is sealed up. This is sealed. Let me get this open. All right, so I have this open. Ah, oh, what is it called? Calypso. But it's like, um, it's like a rose gold. It almost looks like, and I hope y'all can see that. I didn't want to take this all the way off. It's almost like a cross between, um, like if rose gold and bronze had a baby, perhaps maybe it would look like that. It's beautiful. She had a bunch of different colors, you know, gold, brown, um, I don't know. Pewter, I guess, silver. I grabbed that one. I thought it was beautimous. Five, oh, I'm sorry, five grams. Five gram jar. Really, really beautiful. And lastly, I grabbed some foy holes. All right, I'm gonna zoom y'all back out just a smidge. I have a ton of foils. Crazily enough, I don't have any metallics. Just straight up strips of metallic foils. And they're long ones, they're like long strips. So I got a metallic red, gorge. I got a metallic silver. Love that. I got a rose gold, and this is for sure the rose gold. Oh, of course, I went to rose gold my entire life. Turquoise and rose gold, everything. Sign me up. Rose gold, a straight up gold, just a regular, regular old gold. And then I grabbed these really pretty white marble. These white marble ones, uh, I think there was like a pink, maybe a pink marble, a blue marble maybe, I don't know. She had several different marble colors. I grabbed the white one, yeah, so that's it. Oh, two, two things about this. Number one, I do have a referral link in the description box. It's not, I'm not like a, an affiliate or anything. I'm not a brand ambassador for Red Iguana. But it, if you click on the referral link, you can save 10% at Red Iguana. If you'd rather save 5%, use code thank you five with your next with your next order. So if you'd like to save 5%, you can use code thank you five or click the link in the description box below. Uh, even though these are these items are all on sale, you can still get the 10% off, I do believe because I was able to use a discount code when I purchased all this. Okay, and then the other crazy thing about this entire transaction, right? So I purchased, I made this purchase at, I don't know, seven or eight o'clock a.m. Uh, someday last week. And the next day we get a call from, or I guess I get a call from um, the credit union. They said something about my credit card, fraudulent purchases, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? Whatever. I, you know, every freaking time the phone rings nowadays, it's either some damn politician or somebody trying to sell me something. So I'm like, hell no, get out of here with your spammy ass. So of course I didn't return the phone call. The next day, Hubs logs on to the credit, uh, the credit union's website. There's a big ass red lock thing next to my, my credit card number. 
and it says something like click here to unlock. So he clicked there and of course he's not on my credit cards, you know, he's not an authorized user or whatever. So he couldn't fix the whole problem. I had to freaking call the credit union. Sure as hell, it was my red iguana purchase. My red iguana purchase was, flag was flagged as like fraudulent, a, fra a fraudulent charge. And she was like, have, have you ever shopped here before? And I was like, I had to think about it for a second. And I went, yeah, I have once, but I was shopping through Instagram and I'm pretty sure I paid with PayPal. Yeah, I paid through PayPal or whatever for my little practice finger. I had never put anything from Red Iguana on my credit card before. Damn uh, credit union. Thank God I, I wasn't like out and about, you know, in town or whatever, trying to use my card because they turned that bitch off. They turned it off. She's like, okay, you know, blah, blah, blah. Give me your information. And she and I chitty chat and she's like, all right, I've, I've turned your card back on. And I was like, how dare you? I mean, yes, I know you tried to call me, but still, I thought you were spam. Anyway, so I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to share with you guys. Don't forget there is a referral link down in the description box below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul. I'm kind of excited to add some, three new alcohol inks to my collection. And I really can't wait to try out these plates and see, you know, check out the quality of these plates. All right, that's it for me. Just a short haul today, guys. If you're brand new here, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you're excited about in this haul. Have you tried the gel stamping, stamping gel? I don't know. I guess it's not stamping gel polish. Have you tried these? I don't know. Am I in for a, a shock? The shock of my life. Okay, guys, uh, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.